Ankita Astana and I have just landed in Rome. That's the Pantheon right behind me. It's about 4.15 in the evening and the sun has already gone. It's reached the rooftops. I think it's the right time to test this beast which is the Nikon Noct 58mm F0.95. Yes, you heard that right. Let's test this out right now. fun and tiring this is a heavy lens it's a 2 kg lens and I think I'm gonna use it to work out from now on <laughs> but I guess that's required seeing its optics the Nox lens was made specially for the mirrorless series so today I'm using it with the Z7 uh, I think the kind of aperture that they are promising is possible because of this Z mount which is a bigger mount than any other in the market right now and look at the size of this lens it's massive and and it, it's, it just eats light so someone on Instagram asked me yesterday why the name Noct so Noct stands for Nocturne or Nocturnal so which literally means that this lens can see in the dark so I can't wait for it to get dark and start using this at night apart from that it's a completely manual focus lens so some people were like uh, you know they were a little wary about that but I kind of like it that it's not autofocus and it's completely manual because at 0.95 you get razor thin depth of field I don't think I would prefer to use this autofocus anyways because I feel that using manual focus you'll be able to get the focus exactly where you want it so to help with the manual focus they have provided a digital uh, display here as you focus it can give you the idea of the distance at which you're focusing so I think that would be a good help and it's quite accurate there's no lag so I'm actually loving the focus assist on this so do you see that red square wait for it to turn green and the second it turns green that means your focus is sharp at that point I like that the focusing distance is really small. I can get really close to my subject when I'm taking a photograph, then get a sharp focus on the eye. I want to see. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. So far I love the way it performs at night, the way it catches light. I love the razor thin depth of field. I don't love the weight so much but I think it's alright, it's manageable.
my first impression of this lens is that I am impressed. I am impressed by its optical quality and the quality of the image that it's giving me. Yes, a lot of things are great about it. it the, the bokeh is amazing. It's got good low light performance and everything. But I feel uh, what really makes this lens stand out is that it doesn't give any chromatic abrasion. There's absolutely no fringing that I could observe in the lens and I really liked that about it. The second thing was that it was really distortion free. So when I was taking uh, photographs at that magnification, it gave me really good clean straight lines and not a lot of distortion anywhere. About the price, uh, yes, it is a very expensive lens. So whether it is worth or not for you, you will have to decide that for yourself. If you feel that the image quality makes that much of a difference in your work, then it would be worth it for you. It can be put to a good use in weddings as well. When you're shooting in you know, smaller spaces, where you want a bokeh or you want to blur out the rest of the scene that you don't want in your photograph. And so you can use it for getting ready portraits, bridal portraits, couple shoots, pre-wedding photo shoots, engagement sessions, all of that. So I really enjoyed working with this lens. We're gonna box this back up. There goes the hood. That's what I want to call this video, Locked in Room. And phew, that's a heavy lens. I've been shooting with it. I totally forgot what I had to say. I want to do this again.